For me, one of the most satisfying things in football is seeing a gorgeous pass to a perfect first touch. Look at the way Marcelo controls this pass with swagger and confidence. And first touch is something that is important for every player and it can always be improved. If you wanna develop a first touch similar to this, then you'll need to master the techniques of receiving the ball. In this video, I'll show you the five best techniques you need to master or develop silky control like De Bruyne. First up, and the most common technique is using the inside of your foot. But there's two different techniques to this skill and it all depends on the pass you're given. If the pass played in doesn't have much pace on it, then you need to push the ball in the direction you want to go. As the ball is coming in, stand over the ball and push straight through the ball, keeping your ankle locked and your toe up. Your locked ankle ensures that you make firm contact with the ball and the toe up stops the ball from popping up on you. The reason I'm emphasizing pushing through the ball is because if you just absorb it, then it will get stuck under your feet since it has no momentum. You need to create that momentum yourself. On the other hand, if the pass is fired in, then you need to take a soft touch, trying to absorb the momentum so it doesn't just bounce off you. To successfully do this, think of your touch as a pillow, absorbing the ball's speed as it hits your foot. The split second the ball reaches your foot, bring your foot back with it to absorb its speed. Just like when you receive a pass with no pace on it, you need to have your ankle locked and your toe up to have the best chance of taking a class touch. If the first technique was using the inside of the foot, then the second one must be using the outside of your foot. And just like with the inside of your foot, there's two different techniques. The first technique is to use it to spin a defender. You need to drop a shoulder and feint going in one direction before taking your touch in the opposite way. To do this, take a step first in the opposite direction, then receive the ball with your opposite foot and direct it in the direction you want to go. The pass in needs to have enough speed so that you don't have to add any more force behind this touch. You're absorbing the momentum of the ball just like you would with the inside of your foot. Once again, make sure that you have your ankle locked, but it doesn't matter if your toe is up or not. It doesn't make that much of a difference. I see it more as a personal preference. So do whatever works best for you specifically. Using the outside of your foot is also important for holding off defenders and keeping possession of the ball. If you have pressure behind you, use the outside of your foot to control the ball because it keeps your body between the ball and the defender. Turn your body sideways up against the defender. This creates more separation from him. For this technique, make sure to have your ankle locked and your toe up to prevent the ball from popping up. This will give you an extra second or two to decide who to pass to or if you can turn and face up the defender before going 1v1. You want to use the outside of your foot in this example specifically because if you don't, it is easier for the defender to make a tackle. If you use the inside of your foot, the ball isn't as far away from the defender so he may be able to stick a leg around you or in between your legs to poke away the ball. Turning side on makes that impossible since your body is in the way. Real quick, if you have liked the video, hit that like button for me. It helps support me and it's free. So please help me out real quick. Thanks. The third technique I have for you is using your laces. For this technique, you'll probably only use it if the pass is in the air. It's a reliable way to settle the ball out of the air once you've mastered the technique. The most important thing for perfecting this technique is practice. It takes a lot of time and reps to learn the coordination and timing so that you position your foot correctly to control the ball. To do this touch, ensure that your body and hips are facing the same direction as the ball. Then bring your foot up with your ankle locked and your toe up meeting the ball as it arrives. Then the split second the ball touches your foot, pull your leg back and drop your foot. This will kill the momentum of the ball so that it doesn't just bounce off you. Like I said, as you practice this, don't get frustrated if the ball keeps bouncing off your shins or if you miss the ball. It will come with time and practice. One way you can really work on this skill 
is by using it in wall juggling, partner juggling, or just by throwing or kicking the ball up in the air and then settling it. This technique is my favorite because when it's done correctly, it's gorgeous to watch. The fourth technique I have for you is using your thigh. This one is perfect for beginners to master since it is easier to perfect than the others. The one downside to it though is that the ball must be in the air to do this, so I recommend practicing with your feet most of the time. The time you invest in training your first touch with your feet will help you control the ball both in the air and when it's on the floor. To do this, line up your body facing the direction of the ball. Then bring up your thigh to meet the ball like you would with your foot. As the ball arrives, pull back your leg, absorbing the ball's momentum so that it drops down right in front of you. Think of making this touch soft like a pillow. And that's all for this technique. It's really the most simple of the ones I have for you. The fifth and final technique I have for you is using your chest. This one is a better version of the thigh in my opinion. And that's because of one reason. It allows you to use your body more effectively. A lot of times, we have pressure coming from behind us. Using your chest ensures that you are protecting the ball from the defender. In fact, sometimes the defender will get too aggressive and foul you. It's a great way to win your team free kicks and even penalties. To do this, position yourself in between the defender and the ball with the pass's path arriving just above your chest. Then turn your chest out like you have the chest the size of the rocks and redirect the ball up slightly. This will help take the speed out of the ball and decrease the chance that it just bounces off you. You can also direct the ball in the direction you want to go easily by twisting your trunk in that direction. This touch is a critical one to master since it is incredibly difficult to defend. Even though you've mastered these techniques, your first touch still might be terrible. And that's because you're making some small mistakes. Watch this video here where I give you five tips that will fix your first touch. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.